Hi everyone and greetings from Bolivia. My name is Jim Schultz. I am the founder and the executive director of the Democracy Center. I'm also a native Californian. I was born and raised in Whittier. I went to college at UC Berkeley and for 20 years I worked in California politics and policy as an assistant to the legislature and as an advocate with Common Cause and Consumers Union. When my family and I moved here in 1998, there were two things I didn't realize. One is that 16 years later, we'd still be here. And the second is that these two completely different places, California and Bolivia, would both be on the front end of the crisis of our time, the crisis you're here to talk about, the climate crisis. Whether it is biblical drought in California or the melting of the glaciers here in the Andes, Bolivia and California are quite literally in the same boat. The Democracy Center works globally on five continents to help citizens and activists develop their strategies and campaigns, and especially on climate change. So my friends in California asked if I would speak very briefly with you by video today about the ways in which California might plant itself more assertively and strategically on the global stage. So here are three basic ideas. The first is there needs to be a strong California story, a California narrative that speaks to the realities of other countries. And you have that narrative. It's about the transition to clean energy. It's about how you harness that transition in the service of climate justice, the social justice and equity, because these are the excuses that other countries like India, for example, are using to not make the transition to clean energy. The second thing I think as a point of strategy is to look to the UN negotiation process as an opportunity to put California more on the global stage. It's called the Conference of the Parties or the COP process. There's one coming up in Lima at the end of the year, which is an opportunity for California to link with Latin America and Latin American organizations. And then the all important deadline conference in Paris next year, which is when we are supposed to have a new global agreement. So I think California needs to play a role on the stage of the COP negotiations as well, both in its government and its activists. And third, I think it's important to be truthful as California steps onto the international stage about where it fits in the jigsaw puzzle of climate. Because while California has made some really impressive progress in reducing its carbon footprint, the fact is that a good portion of that carbon footprint has simply been exported to China and other countries abroad. Every time somebody in Los Angeles or San Francisco buys a widescreen television or an iPod that was made in China, their carbon footprint has been exported abroad. And I think it's important to be honest about that and to look for ways to address California's role in the global trade system. I want to end by saying this. We face a crisis unlike anything we've ever seen. I believe that those of us, whether we're in government or whether we're activists, those of us who would have an opportunity to take leadership on a global level not only need to do that, I think we have a moral obligation to do that. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate this opportunity. I wish I could have been there with you in person. And I look forward to working with uh, as many of you who are interested. Thank you very much.